G'day fellow miners and welcome back to the Hypercraft server. My name is Armitage and this is episode 4 in my survival multiplayer series. Brought to you from the Hypermine vanilla server. Um, I have been a little bit of a busy boy. Um, I went and did a bit of... Oh, I've got an inventory full of crap. But I went and did a bit of mining and got some more diamonds and made a second pick and went and... In, We've uh, put bookshelves back at the uh, spawn enchanting table, which is the super lucky enchanting table that uh, Lone Wolf first set up. And you can see him in the dish stance. Um, I got a silk touch pick, yes! Yes, I did. And I'm going to get Lone Wolf to fortune pick my diamond ore. Oh, he's just given me his thing. Whoa, 11 diamonds. Wow. Ooh, that's cool. That's excellent. Super sweet. So that's got to be... Uh, put it in here. And the diamond's in there. And I need my silk touch pick to pick up the I believe you said you need silk touch to pick up uh ender chests now for some reason. But um yeah that's very cool. So yeah, I made a branch mine underneath my base. Um and got a bunch of uh Oh, I got some redstone ore. No, I'm carrying the redstone ore around. I should stick that somewhere and store it. Um, but what I have been doing is uh, I have been keeping an eye on the iron golem farm because it was playing up a bit and I couldn't figure out what the issue was. I got it working, then it stopped working again and it kept on resetting every two or three minutes instead of continually producing golems I stood in front of it for about three hours and it just kept on uh, rebuilding if you don't know um, if you don't know anything about the iron golem farm we have on the server Lone Wolf built uh, the iron trench by can't remember his name something tech tech something um, anyway, we'll see it at some stage or another. Um, and yeah, it it had, it was doing something wrong. It wasn't like working properly. It it spawned like five or six golems, and then it would stop working. It it had rebuild itself because what it does is it automatically reconstructs the the farm system. It, it's kind of complex. The uh, there's a video out there by the dude who designed it. Some, something tech or tech something. I can't. I can't remember his name. Uh, anyway, um, Tango Tech. That's his name. Tango Tech. It turned out that uh, somebody who was just recently removed from the server because of what he was up to. Uh, we just whitelisted a guy, and it turned out that he stole a bunch of stuff and destroyed a bunch of stuff and um, just and generally you know acted like a jerk I don't think it was malicious I just don't think he is very uh, savvy in the ways of server play um, <clears throat> so we got rid of him and um, He'd apparently placed a block somewhere in the wiring for the um, Iron Golem farm and broken it so that it wasn't working properly. Uh, Lone Wolf fixed it um, yesterday, so and it was going great guns. Um, it was really. I'm gonna put this back here because I want this stuff. 
I want to store this stuff first though. So, oh, we got lots of cobble. I should set up a. I might, I might finish what I'm doing first. Um. Yeah. Uh, anyway, Iron Golem Farm is working again, um, and the reason I, want, I wanted to get the Iron Golem Farm working uh, is because I plan on um, building the pseudo futuristic base uh, out of um, my repair pick. Oh, I don't have an anvil. Oh, I don't have an anvil dope. Uh, I want to build it out of iron blocks. So I started to lay out the f sort of the the. It's a bit hard to. It's a bit hard to see. Can I make this jump? Wait. Oh, nope. I don't think that's high enough. Oh, we'll go. It's kind of, yeah. So, it's kind of hard to visualize as it is now, I can imagine. I can visualize it because I know what I'm doing. But what it's going to be basically is these are going to, these are going to be like legs coming up out of the ocean. Um, that's the bottom of the, uh, the thing that's going to be up there which is going to be a great big uh, ellipsoid an ellipsoid is kind of like a squashed sphere it uh, it's I'm using a um, I'm using a website called plots.co.uk probably experienced minecrafters will have seen that uh, website before and basically um, I'm going to have a huge ellipsoid. I don't. I, I, it's not going to be solid. The bottom half is going to be solid, mm, probably. I might have some holes in it or windows in it, perhaps. Uh, but for the moment, I'm going to build it up to at least to the legs. Then I want to build the legs down and make them kind of more than just like a single stick. And I've got to obviously. I'm either going to incorporate the scaffolding which I've used netherrack um, I'm either going to incorporate that scaffolding into the um, into the uh, the struts the legs that hold the thing up so you kind of get the idea of what it's going to be it's going to be like a big kind of UFO-ish type thing on on big tall legs sticking up out of the ocean well we're not really in the ocean, but out of the, sticking up out of the water. So, um, and then yeah, that that that's going to be like a ring around there, and these are going to go. It's going to slowly, gradually slope up. I'm going to have some stuff down here underneath. This is the um, portal platform, and I've put the portals in this X shape, so that this is an odd number because I don't like working with even numbers. In Minecraft I prefer to have an odd number um, because 3x3 tunnels are much better than 2x2 two two tunnels and um, you can do a lot more stuff with odd numbers than you can with um, with even numbers anyway so that's the plan so I'm gonna go back to work on this um, building this out oops and actually I was going to make a an anvil wasn't I so anyway I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to work on this and um, come back later when I've done a bit more in the way of building so we will be back later okay guys we are back and I've done a little bit of work it's actually a lot more than it seems um, it's not easy getting this ellipsoid built um, but you can see it's kind of starting to take shape that's the underneath area it's going to slowly curve up uh, and I'm probably going to stop it at the middle and maybe change the shape I'm going two I'm going one of two ways either I'm going to make a spherical dome of glass over the top I think that would look pretty freaking cool from a distance um, Uh, or I'll continue the ellipse over the top 
and do it out of do it like a kind of semi-open but I'm gonna have a look at a couple of designs in my head <laughs> um, and uh, work on them I've, I've run out of iron blocks at the moment this thing is gonna take a lot of iron blocks like the full ellipse is nearly 7,000 iron blocks so that's a lot of iron um, it's very ambitious and then I've got to build the legs as well uh, but the fortunate thing is um, if we look on the server oh look there's two armitages Whee! there's armitage and armitage 2 and armitage 2 is logged in uh, semi-permanently at the iron farm to stop it from uh, rebuilding because what happens is when you leave the area or everyone leaves the area it goes to a different dimension it actually the loaded blocks that spawn or the loaded chunks that spawn kind of go into a sort of a holding pattern I guess um, oh crap am I gonna get this guy oh look at that for a shot uh, <laughs> still got this super dangerous thing so I gotta do something with the um, uh, with the tunnel well, with my track, my nether hub track, so I've got to sort this out. But yeah, anyway, the, the, the iron trench stops working when everyone leaves the overworld. It, it kind of goes into like holding and then resets itself. Um, I'm not sure what the deal is with that. Maybe village code shuts down when there's nobody in the overworld. Um, that's a possibility. But anyway, it needs to reset, so I have lent my secondary account that I've had for a while, which I've been planning on using as a, like a cameraman account, cameraman account. I've lent that to Lone Wolf, and he has a machine that he can keep that account logged in while the server is up. Um, just so that the iron golem farm fills up, we might go and have a look and see how much iron is there, because I do need to get more iron. Um, he told me he'd made a bunch of iron blocks and stuck them in a chest there for me uh, in his secret stash uh, so we'll go and have a look I might I might cut here and oh, well, we're actually almost there now it's probably a little longer this episode than normal which will please some people who uh, have kind of been asking me to make longer episodes so this might be a little bit over 10 minutes probably 15 or so uh, but we'll head in I really need to start timing my episodes but nope I don't as you can see there's golems in the iron trench being cooked up it looks as if uh, whatever iron was in there yeah whatever iron was in there um, lone wolf has turned into iron blocks for me and we go over here and you can see this is the chest hopper Oop, this is the chest silo here and it looks like this is the full chest down here yeah, it's starting to fill up again uh, so yeah that's awesome actually let's take them from the bottom just gonna take everything out of here oh, so many iron locks uh, anyway uh, now that um, now that that is sorted what up golems um, I am going to call the episode here guys, thank you for watching and keep on digging.